future. There is no past. I live this moment as my life. Hello, I'm Will Blunderfield. I'm a Vancouver yogi. And um, I've just been told I'm a rock star persona, which I really like. Because my whole message is like, fake it till you make it, fake it till you become it. Um, what style of yoga do you teach primarily? Hot. Hot. Super hot. The hotter the better. It's like a vision quest for me. And for my students, I think. I think a lot of my students come for the cathartic element of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whether it's hot or yoga ballet or uh, even Y-Ride, which is a fusion of indoor cycling and yoga, it's always about catharsis. Moving forward through feeling it to heal it. My life is kind of like a musical. Um, I sing all the time, and uh, I think speaking is a form of singing. My students have said, like, sometimes it feels like you're singing when you're speaking in your class. And um, I thought that was an interesting note. I think it, it is, you know, it's, it's all, everything is about self-expression, I believe, these days. And I think that if we give people greater permission to express themselves, the world will be a lot safer and more grounded and relaxed. The pain will ease. I can learn. In moments where I feel tempted to fall into patterns of self-loathing or insecurity or anything that doesn't support life, I try to counteract it with a recalcitrant pattern, such as deepening the breath, or sitting up taller, or singing. Watch your insecurities, watch your shame, watch anything that doesn't serve your mission and take a deep breath. And just treat it like it was a sick animal like Bambi. <laughs> that needed some love, because I think that's what it is, because when you start to spiritually reparent it, it, it stops like coming up against you so much, I find. And, um, and also ask for what you need. If I can learn, there is no future. I, I didn't do that very much this past year. I was trying to charge all for it on my, on my own, and I realize I'm very good at manifesting, but at the same time I realize that I don't have to do it alone. I can ask for help. I can, I, can, um, I can reach out and grab what I need to keep thriving. Because my intention is to spread love. So what, who do I need to be right now to spread love? I'm going to be that version. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because that feels better. It feels better than, than trying to be something for somebody else. I think deep down, the people that you're, that you're serving, they want you to be who you need to be for you because they're mirrors of you, and that inspires them to do the same. How can we maximize the pleasure that we can experience in this moment? Like, even if it's just enjoying the breath a little bit more, and for me that's not taking deeper breaths necessarily, but it's slowing it down. Like, enjoy the cool air hitting your nose on the inhales, and the warm air leaving your body on the exhales a little bit more. Everything's like, how can we just bring a little bit more joy into each moment? So for me, I'm always trying to be authentic to what my intention is every day and in my classes, which is usually to just shake your ass and feel sexy. I live this moment as my life.